So <clears throat> when you get adjusted, one thing that you that I notice, right, and that I explain to patients too, right, when this happens is I see a change in just their body tone. And what I mean by tone is like they're just state of tension. So I don't have to spend hours of massage on them. And I'm not knocking massage. I was a former massage therapist. I think it's amazing. Everybody should get a massage if they can, you know, afford it. Right. It's fan. It's, it's, it's a great modality. But, but what I see is that I can tap into the nervous system and change tone in tissues just with the adjustment because when somebody walks in and they, they lay it on, down on the table. And one of the things that I do is I check their, their leg length. So I check their feet and I see if one leg is longer than the other, that doesn't mean that they were born with a short leg or they were born with a longer leg. That does happen, right? Some people's bones do grow at different lengths. That does happen, right? Some people might've had a trauma such as a broken bone and they had damage right to the cartilage that ceased growing, or they maybe have a, a pathology that caused them to have abnormal growth too little or too much. But for the most part, people are walking around with pretty symmetrical, pretty symmetrical limbs. Okay. So when they come in and most people, when you check them right initially, and most chiropractors will probably agree with this, that their feet are usually unbalanced if they've gone about and, and lived life. That's normal. So when I adjust them, whatever their body needs to get adjusted, right? Let's say it is their pelvis. Let's say it is their, you know, when I say pelvis, I mean like their, their hips, right? And their SI joints, their tailbone, or like their low back, right? Mid back, neck, whatever it is. I'm checking when I recheck them, I'm checking their nervous system to see if the nervous system is kind of retonified or rebalanced, right? Certain muscles, because if you're tight in your calf, if you're tight in your hamstring, if you're tight in your glutes, if you're tight in your quads, if you're tight in your abdominals, you name it, right? That's going to alter your, 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 your place in space of your skeleton. One leg will be pulled up, one leg will be relaxed down. So I'm checking to see if that levels out through the brain, through the nervous system. Okay. I'm not taking somebody's leg and I'm yanking it and making it longer. I can do that if the body, if that, you know, adjustment is needed and I'll check for certain things to make sure that's the case. Um, so spinal health has a lot more to do than just like looking at curves, right? That's a very bird's eye view of it. You know, then you start getting into, is my spine, you know, is it, is it in alignment? Um, you know, I get that a lot. Uh, first things first, I make sure that, Hey, you know, that's why we take x-rays. We want to see if those curves are there. We want to see if they're straight from the front and back. We want to see if they're curved from the side. Okay. If they're not, we know that we can do a better job of, of having their spine in better health. If we get that aligned and we, you know, adjust accordingly. And we set them up on certain uh, modalities such as traction to get that objective. 